All right, I'm Fatella Farrell, Miss Tell Farrell TV. Just doing this for the sake of conversation, guys. Um, Lonzo Ball, all right? For those who don't know, Lonzo Ball is the superstar talent out of UCLA. UCLA lost Friday night in Memphis, by the way. Salute to my city. Got a huge weekend of basketball in the town. Salute to everybody down there checking out some basketball. Big weekend for the city. Um, Lonzo Ball, he, they, they lost to Kentucky. The Aaron Fox tore <laughs> Tore UCLA's ass up. Um, and that was Lonzo Ball's last game. There's no secrets there. The, the guy's the number one pick in the draft. I, I think so. And um, brief second here, I'll break, down, I'll break down this game. I'll break down this game. What I love about this game, what I don't like about it. And, I, and I'll be doing more in-depth on this soon. I'll be doing more in-depth on this soon. Don't worry. We'll have a lot of Lonzo Ball coverage. He'll be the number one guy selected in the draft. Um, when we talk about Phil for the game, all right, he's the third guy that I've seen. In the last 10 to 15 years. And again, I was younger. But his feel for the game is Ben Simmons S, LeBron James S. All right? I got on these airways with YouTube and bragged about Ben Simmons last year on a much smaller platform. I bragged about his feel for the game last year. I was on the court. I seen him live. I was on the sideline to watch Ben Simmons play. And I finally was able to confirm that he had a great feel for the game. All right? Covering UT, the LSU uh, play here in Knox and played in Knoxville, and I was able to check that game out live. I, I, the guy has a great feel for the game. The difference between Ben Simmons and Lonzo Ball from the for, with the feel for the game is Lonzo's a little bit more mature mentally than Ben Simmons. He wants to play night in and night out. He doesn't provide the same level of arrogance that Ben Simmons presented, and I think Lonzo Ball ceiling might be a little bit higher because of that. All right. Um, Lonzo Ball's shot, actually, once it gets to the release point, is pretty smooth. Now, getting to that release point is a bit of a struggle. But once it gets there, it's, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty smooth jump shot. It's a pretty smooth jump shot. Has a lot of height, about 6'5", 6'6". Um, a lot of height. Passing ability is, is it's, it's A1, man. Um, it's not Ben Simmons. It's not going to be the highlight-type passes. But I, I watched him get the ball to some UCLA, UCLA players in the tournament, and they just weren't able to deal with these passes because these were NBA-type passes, and these are guys who just weren't able to keep up with these passes. So, I mean, Lorenzo Ball, um, his shot is better than Ben's. Um, it's actually better than what LeBron was coming into the league. So I think Lonzo Ball will be a great player, and I do believe he's a franchise-type player, all right? I'll give you more coverage on this soon, but that's just a little quick synopsis of what I think about Lonzo Ball. The Lakers are tanking their behinds off to get this brother. Brooklyn is struggling, but it's Boston's pick. So Boston could end up with Lonzo Ball with Isaiah Thomas, and that would be, oh, my goodness. All right, come on now. Um, so that's just what I think about him right now. I'll get back to you with more with him soon. All right, Alpha Telefair, Mr. Telefair TV. Salute to Lonzo Ball, declaring, and he about to get that paycheck. And then, all right, he's declaring for the NBA draft. No surprises here. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at